Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I am going to be going over my March 2024 empties for home fragrance, um, mostly candles. Stay tuned because I've started melting some wax as well. So I'll get into some samples that I've done there. This is going to be a longer video. My empties videos so far with the way that I'm doing my channel. I haven't quite gotten into the habit of doing in-depth reviews of items that I'm using while I'm using them because I work full-time, I'm a mom, my kids have a lot of stuff going on. So I just want to dedicate a video as of right now, once a month, where I go over and give you guys an in-depth review of the candles that I've utilized, how they burned, what was their scent throw, what was it on cold, what was it on hot, and like I said, I have a little bit of wax that I've gotten into that I can go over, which, you know, I'll go in depth with probably in another video or in a future video, but at least go over what I've used and what I've thought of wax because this is all new to me as far as warming, different types of warmers, different brands and vendors, and that type of thing. That is a little bit of a side chit chat that I wanted to do because another thing that I wanted to bring up, if you've watched my videos before, if you're new, obviously you wouldn't recognize that my filming space has changed. But if you have seen any of my previous videos, you might notice that this little space has transformed and maybe doesn't look like it has a bed in the background and that's because I have a new filming space. I have an amazing family, my husband and my children, who came up with this on their own because I normally would film in my master bedroom, which I was fine with, but they came up with changing things around in our home to allow me to have a space where I could enjoy a candle and wax haven is what they called it. So I am just super, super grateful to my husband for sacrificing his office because I would have never have asked him to do that. Now we have kind of swapped spaces and my family, it has been a collective situation with my children and my husband where we came up with how to set this room up and I think that a lot of it was not my idea because I'm just really not good with spatial awareness and organization. They collectively came up with positioning. I have a new desk with like double monitors behind you that you can't see at the moment. They also set up like a little podcast mic here, which I don't have the mic on it yet. Uh, it's a big enough space in front of me that if I... I'm going to be filming some future chop and chats for wax and that allows me this, this space to be creative. Thank you family for providing me this space and allowing me to make it my own. The candle that I have here in the background, it is Country Candles Strawberry Lemonade. It's the medium sized two wick um, jar that they have. This one is their new spring summer scent that they came out with. And I did take some notes here. So if you see me looking down and reading, let's word today. So <clears throat> Kringle's Country Candles Strawberry Lemonade. This candle comes in a large two wick tumbler. That's a hefty 26 ounces. Then we have the 14.5 ounce medium two wick tum um sorry not tumbler but jar it's apothecary style jar and the scent notes are really funny actually let me tell you why i'll read them and then you guys can tell me the name of this candle is strawberry lemonade so it says top notes orange peel apple lemon mid notes almond caramel verbena base notes vanilla raspberry and woody violets so the candle's called Strawberry Lemonade, and nowhere in these notes does it say strawberry, and it emphasizes orange and almond and caramel. There's none of those scents that are in this. I, I don't know if, I've seen this a few times with Kringle where I'm not sure who is putting the scent notes on the candle or who's approving the scent notes on the candle, but I've seen a few mishaps, which I appreciate because we are all human, but a, couple, a few things that I have noticed is they have a macaron candle and it's a picture of a macaron, but they have it labeled as macaroon, which is, is not a macaroon, I believe. Uh, so that, that was just, you know, and that's hearsay, you know, some people could argue with that, but I just thought that was really funny and I get a laugh out of that. But sometimes I've noticed that the scent notes on candles from Kringle are either like plentiful like there's just too many scent notes that get overwhelming because they'll put stuff like musk in a gourmand candle that would probably scare people off so i'm not sure why they have 
their notes are kind of messed up. But I don't know that this is this candle scent notes. And if it is, what an incredible way to transition a candle into like an authentic, sugary, delicious strawberry lemonade, because that's what's in this candle. It is strong. It doesn't need a hurricane. It burns flawlessly so far. In this jar that I have, this specific candle, it smells like a really sweet, tart, strawberry lemonade. Those are very clear notes that I get out of this candle. I do not get orange. I don't get apple. I don't get almond, I don't get caramel, I don't get woody violet. So maybe that is what they put together to make it smell like this authentic strawberry lemonade instead of it being um, artificial smelling. Whatever they did, I love it. It's still um, available on their website. Any candles that I, something that I've been doing lately is any candles that I talk about in any of my videos, if they are available, I will link them in the description below. So yeah, so that's what I have going um, as far as the candle goes in that cute pedestal. And then as far as the warmer up there that's blurred out, that's my Scentsy warmer that's new to me, the Pharmacist Daughters Lemon Chiffon Blend. So Vendor Wax and Scentsy, they're all like new to me. I just started, I'm actually liking melting wax so there's that and anyway that's the chit chat that I have the only other thing I wanted to point out is where I'm located now is more central and my kids are home and my husband's home so if you hear like kids and like maybe there's some arguing I don't know if you hear the background noise I can't you know I'm home so and they're home and it's their home as well so there's nothing I can really do about that other than I did ask them to please be mindful because I am filming without further ado let's get into this video so it's gonna be a long one get a drink grab a snack grab a blanket get cozy have your headphones in if you're trying to knock out some other things because I do have a tendency to kind of go in depth here okay so there's no rhyme or reason to this. Oh, I guess I could show you if I can just like lean my tripod over so you can see. Do you guys see that? That's a whole bin. That's a whole bin. It's full. All right. So I'll just grab. There's no light. It's not separated by vendors or anything. And I just grab and go off of what my impression was. So the first one I have is pink pineapple sunrise. This is the 2023 20, version, spring version of pink pineapple sunrise. They have another candle out this year. I love this candle. I thought that this was a great candle for it being a year old. The scent notes are sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, sun drenched nectar. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. I, I didn't have a lot of trouble burning this one. You know, it has a little bit of soot, something that I'm finding with every candle company. There's just, you if you get like a soot-free candle burn on any candle, that's just, I think, the luck of the draw. But this one had a little bit. It just happens. And the scent, you know, the wax changed just a little bit. But this went all the way down. And you guys probably can't see the wick clips in there. But there, it went down to the wick clips. It went out. Now, if you notice that one of the wicks is like kind of drifted low down here, that is because when I was done burning it, I still smelled, it doesn't smell burned. It doesn't smell like the scent had been altered at all. And so I did put this on my hot plate warmer that I have in my bedroom and just kind of used it for one day. It still has fragrance in the wax, but I do have so many candles that I need to get through. And so I, I let it go for an extra day to get some more of that pink pineapple sunrise. And then it was time for me kind of to move on. But yeah, so I would say this was pretty strong. Um, no hurricane was used with Bath and Body Works on this candle. I have to be mindful about which candles from Bath and Body Works that I do place in hurricanes because I think putting some in hurricanes has caused my candles to have issues as far as it's like scorching the wax. It's changing it, it's altering the smell. And so I'm being very mindful to try burning my Bath and Body Works candles because they get pretty hot in a hurricane. What that does is adds more heat. So I don't think it necessarily needs it all the time for Bath and Body Works candles. What I'll do is start testing my candles first without hurricanes. And then if I start to see that it's very weak or they're puny wicks or something's happening, I will throw it in a hurricane to finish it off. So yeah. This um, scent and throw, when this was burning, this was great. It was a seven and it was in my living room of my open concept and it did great. I did well this year and I, I tried different tropical scents, which I will, I think, be touching base with in here that I used, that I purchased instead of Pink Pineapple Sunrise, but I definitely recommend this candle and this scent 
I would purchase it again. It doesn't smell like an uh, artificial pineapple or like it's not cloying. It just was a beautifully blended candle. All right, next up, we'll stick with some Bath & Body Works. This one is Tiki Beach, and this is the current 2024 version that is still on sale at Bath & Body Works. And the scent notes on this is warm vanilla musk, orchids, toasted coconut. I have never burned a Tiki Beach before, and I'm not sure why I haven't, but this is really good. And, and honestly, the, the labels for this tropical spring release is just there's some holographic going on and it's textured. And I love like the palm trees. One of my favorite memories when I was in the Navy forever ago, 100 years ago, was that um, I got to spend some time in Hawaii during one of our port visits and I was able to get a hotel room. You know, what I liked to do on that trip is when it was the sunset, I would go sit out on the beach. When it was sunrise, I would go sit out on the beach. And it just, this is just such a great picture. Just takes me back to that time 100 years ago. So this one smells so good. It kind of reminds me of Madagascar Vanilla from Nest. Obviously, Nest is hands down. I love their candle and it it blows Bath & Body Works candles out of the water and it's also very pricey. So I do have a couple of those that I am going to burn this year. I love that and enjoy it. But for Tiki Beach, it reminds me of Nest's Madagascar Vanilla, which makes sense because it's got the warm vanilla musk, the orchids. That's what it smells like. I had trouble with this candle. Are you ready to see how ugly she got? So this candle actually pulled like the Bath & Body Works like norm, I guess I would say for candles. And this candle was extremely hot in the beginning. The wicks burned, really the flames were high. It was hot and I really had to watch it. And like when I would go to put it out, I would develop like one wick would just be so hot and it would burn. It was burning e evenly all the way down. And it's just weird. It just looks weird on the inside. On my last burn, which I, I didn't expect it to be my last burn because it's sad. I'm trying to see if I can kind of picture where I think here is where the highest amount of wax is on this candle. And then it the one little you know, wick that could, the one little wick that could got to about here. So that's a big difference in, I, I just must have forgotten about it in the living room for a few hours. And when I went to check on it, because I always circle around um, my house to check on candles and put them out after so many hours. So this one burned on its last burn for about three hours and I just don't even know what to say about it. And I was I was going to put this in a candle crock because it, it's still fragrant and I still might, or I might put it on a hot plate warmer in my bedroom or in here now because I have a hot plate warmer on my desk. But I wanted to wait until I did my empties to show you guys like what happened. Uh, it's not often that I get a burn like this bad, but it was not bad until it got to about here. So I, I got a good half of the candle burned before it gave me trouble, which is the Bath & Body Works tried and true quality of a lot of their candles. So when you get a really good burn, you know, you just go with it. All right, moving on. Next candle, Main Street Bakery. This is the new 2024 spring like bakery collection that they put out. This one is fresh banana, vanilla wafers, and cinnamon sugar. I freaked out when this came out and I smelled it and I bought, I have five more. So I bought a case of it during a sale, which, you know, I say I'm trying not to do, but I did. I love it. I love this candle. You might see that I have a good amount of wax left. What had happened was the problem with this candle is it was wonderful up until this point where it got the wax to where the wax is now. What you can tell is that the wicks in here have moved. So that means that I have crocked this candle. That was because this one started to change. The wax started to become very murky and it took on a weird burned soot smell. And so I kind of took a paper towel after I put my candle out and kind of graced it upon the top of the wax and let that try to catch some of that soot that had gone in there. And I just figured it's just burning too hot. It's altering the wax. So this went into a candle crock. I did that for two or three days before moving on. There's still a little bit of fragrance in it, but not enough for me to continue to do it because I have to move on to candles. This is a great one. I have many for years to come because Bath & Body Works, I don't remember them coming out with a scent that smelled like this. It's like, 
a banana pudding is what people say, but to me, I smell bakery in this. So I like, it smells like banana and cake. A lot of people think it's artificial and I don't think it's artificial. This doesn't smell like rents or artificial banana at all. It is delicious and I highly recommend. The throw on this was a six. It was a six in my open concept. So there's the issue with Bath & Body Works is it was already such a hot candle that if I would have put it in the hurricane to increase the scent throw, it would have caused more damage, I think, to the wax. So that's that one. Okay, I have another Bath & Body Works. There's a lot of, I burn a lot of Bath & Body Works. So this is the new Easter candle. Happy Easter, Daffodil Daydreams. You guys, this is my favorite color of all time. And I love this candle. I love this candle so much that when I, when I realized I loved it because it smelled light in the store and you know, you're always competing with other scents when you're in the store. And so when I got it home and I let it like warm up in my home a little bit, I smelled it. Everyone in my family loves this candle. Oh, she's beautiful. The decoration on here is so cute. Yeah, look at the little bunny. Anyway, um, I did, I burned this one. She burned really well for me. She took on some soot at the end. I still can smell the daffodil daydream scent. And I, I ended up buying another one on Mercari because uh, I couldn't find it. And then um, yesterday I looked at their buy one, get one sale. You know, although I branch out from Bath & Body Works, I, I always look, they're always coming out with new stuff. And, um, I, I looked and it was back on for shipping. I don't like paying Bath & Body Works shipping and I didn't want to buy, they had actually, if you bought $50, you could get free shipping, but I, I don't want to do that. I, I like to go into my store and find the candles. My kids like to call me the wick witch because I have had too many problems with candles when the wicks are kind of messed up. I don't think that, that they should be sold at all or they should be sold at a discount. And so I'm always looking for my wicks to be placed evenly. And this is a beautifully placed wicks. And yeah, that, that wax changed a little bit at the end, but this burned all the way down to the wick clips and it burned beautifully and I love it. Daffodil Daydream, scent notes, whip marshmallow, pastel clouds, and sweet daffodil. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever smelled this. So I think this is really a new scent from Bath & Body Works. And I really hope they come out with it again. I know they came out with it in body care. I, I wasn't interested in finding body care that smelled like this for me, but I loved it in a home fragrance and I had many compliments. All right, another candle that I have is from Kringle Candle. This is Kringle Country Candle Cosmic Cupcakes. There's no scent notes on these. And this is a wonderful, it's lemon. This is like a lemon cupcake, like lemon cupcake with some like buttercream or whipped frosting, vanilla frosting on top. This is really, really good. Unfortunately, I, I had complications with this candle. So far up to this month, I had been burning Kringle candles. Um, I just found them last year at the end of the year and I started purchasing for them and I started burning and I, and I thought this is a wonderful candle company. And it is, it is. Every candle company has quality issues, I think, in certain candles and Kringle candle, has been very consistent in the way that um, I have been satisfied in the way that the candles have been burning and how they smell. I like the different options that they have. I love that they have a reserve line, which is specialty candles, which you can kind of see they're blurred there, but those are uh, the reserve line candles that I have. The quality has been great, but lately I have been having issues with the candles. So this one I burned all the way down to about here. I only burned these candles for three hours, four hours because these are 100% soy and they um, pull pretty quickly for me after the first burn. The first burn of these candles takes a little while to pull all the way across and give you a nice pull. But after that, when you light them, for me anyway, they pull across pretty quickly. And so they will keep developing if the wicks are pretty hot. You know, the pool will get bigger and bigger. Well, something I'm having issues with is the glue on the wicks. I've brought this up in some of my previous videos, especially my last um, empties video in February. Some of the wicks are moving. They're moving well before this wax pool gets to the bottom. It will look like I had, like I had a wax pull of this much going, but this is soft and it's, it's lifting. These are lifting. So what had happened was I was burning it in my bedroom and it gives such an amazing scent. And I was like, oh, I better go check, did my rounds, check on my candles. And I'm always kind of like rotating it. And I went to rotate it and the wicks, the wicks came together. All of a sudden they just, they were lifted. And it wasn't like it was a full liquid pool. It was only like an inch of this was a liquid pool and the rest of this was solid and the wicks moved. And so I had to put it out. 
and I was devastated. And so I was trying to figure out a way for me to get in there and pull um, the wicks out so maybe I could savor the wax. That's what I did. I pulled out the wicks and what I did was melt this under the lamp and then pour it off. And so by pouring off, not my favorite. I like the lamps that come down and it, you're able to like enjoy it like you would a candle. The problem is you have to pour off the wax in order to get to the fragrance underneath. Whereas in a candle crock, it's warming it from underneath and around the side. So you're melting the whole thing. So melting it with a lamp and then pouring off is not my favorite. It makes a flipping mess. So that's what happened to this candle. The strength and throw was seven, seven and a half um, while it was burning. It was a beautiful purple color, deep, deeper than this. It kind of lightened up as I melted it. And it's just got this wonderful lemon. This smells like, I'm going to leave this one out because this one smells like one of the Easter candles that they put out for me, the way that it smells. Although I would say that one that I'm going to talk about, which we'll just talk about it now. It's a Kringle candle that came out for, sorry for the bings. Um, this is a Kringle candle, lemon, sugar, marshmallow. It's in this beautiful mercury jar. It just came out for Easter this year from Kringle candle. Not available anymore. It's sold out several times. They brought it back. This one smells like cosmic cupcakes to me. The difference is there it's not the same. It's not the same though. I smelled this. This one gives me more of a fruit loops or fruity pebbles scent. Whereas the cosmic cupcake smelled like a lemon bakery. Yeah, this one has more of a yeah, you get that buttercream frosting. Yeah, that smells good. Okay, let's talk about this one. This was a holiday one that came out. I'm sorry, my my phone is having a hard time focusing lately. It's very beautiful pastel yellow mercury jar. These are a little bit slightly more expensive than their large two wicks. These are $34. The large two wick tumblers are $31. These are pricey candles. They don't normally go on sale um, until like right now. It's the week of Easter. And so they do have an Easter sale 50% off, but they're really good stuff like carrot cake and, and this one that was a huge popular scent this year is gone. So you can check out Kringle. I think they're having the sale today and tomorrow. Today is Saturday, March 30th. Tomorrow is the 31st, which is Easter. So happy Easter, everybody, if you're celebrating. So this candle was great. It, it, was never in a hurricane. I had it burning in this cute pedestal, but out in my living room and it's the open concept. This one was a good seven to eight on throw out of 10. The thing is that I had something happen here that I've never had happen in a Kringle candle because normally with Kringle candle, these are 100% soy and they normally burn flawlessly all the way down to the wick clips and it's the wax stays clean. There's no soot. Well, like I said, with every candle company, I think that there is a one-off and I haven't heard anybody that I follow mention that they had any issues with their burn, but this one I did. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see how sooty this got. This is totally unnatural for a Kringle candle. I did not want to clean it or try to attempt. And if you look at that wax, it is completely murky. This wax started turning black. So I actually have a good amount of the candle left that I stopped burning because it has now taken on a weird smell. So I don't ever leave my candles burning more than the recommended um, time frame from the manufacturer. So, I mean, I leave this one on for three to four hours. I shouldn't say I never do. I have left my reserve candle California cab on one time. It was for like six or seven and it was no issues. So this is, I'm hoping like a one off for this type of thing. I've never seen it before. Look at that. It's like black. I don't know if you can tell, but it was a good candle, not a recommendation though, or repurchase if this is the type of quality that's happening from it. However, if you're watching other people, I do think that they may not have had that problem. I'm not really sure why mine did, but again, I just check it up. So I think March was the theme I have is um, I had some really good burns from Kringle, but I had some really poor burns from Kringle. So we're going to talk about herbal tea. You guys, this one smells so good. It is just this, I know it says herbal tea, but it, it does give like a black tea scent to it, but it's like a lemon and tea 
heaven. If you like an iced tea candle, this is what you should put. Like if you're doing an iced tea candle during the day, this is the, the type of scent that you should put on at night if you love that type of scent. I love the label. It's just a wonderful candle and I have backups. So I have another one of this size and I have a large one. Issues with this candle. There's no scent left to it because you're like, why is there so much wax? Um, I ended up crocking this candle. And the reason why I crocked it was I burned it and I lit it here, I think is where it starts. That's where you can see the little smudge. I, I burned it and it was burning well and it's strong. The scent and throw was six and a half, seven in my bedroom and without a hurricane in this little guy. And it was burning well and I got through it the first burn. I got through a second burn. I went to do the third burn and my husband walked in and it did what the Bath and Body Works Tiki Beach candle did. Um, one was going, one wick was going, one wasn't. So I said, oh no, put it out. So he put it out. I came home, I tried to soak up some of the wax to like, I was like, maybe it's just a puny wick situation. So I soaked up some of the wax and then I lit it up and it had a lot of wick space in it and it just started crumbling. Like the wick just started crumbling. You could just see the flame just crumbling. Um, you can't see it now, now that I've done the, the crock, but like one of the wicks was like splitting in the middle where I could like see through it. So it kind of fell apart, this candle. I was very sad about that because I was wanting this candle for the longest time and I finally got them in on a sale. That's what happened. So I didn't waste it. I just, I put it in a candle crock and it smelled so good. It was the door coming in from my garage. There's a little hallway and that's just like the perfect air vortex that happens that brings that scent and grabs it and puts it out in the open concept it's a great place to have a crock that one did it, it did well it threw in that crock it was like an eight eight and a half so it did well in the crock it burned poorly this is the brand new fruit three wick design strawberry patch candle and this one is just poured in February of 24. This is their new candles. And this is their three wick jar, soy, 100% soy. And if you look up close, this is actually a painted jar. And it's really cool that they have that. So these are not the little shrink wraps or anything like that. So this candle was never crocked. One of the wicks just went astray. It burned down to the wick clips beautifully, but it went down. I had one more burn left. It was in the evening time. My husband came in. I usually have a candle going if I fall asleep and my husband's usually not far behind me. And I said, hey, if you come in, put the put the candle out. He came in and put the candle out, but I didn't even notice the wick until the morning because I always check my candles. I'm weird. Before I put them in the empty, then I open them and just see what, what does the wax look like? So this had a wax that was like a, a baby pink wax. This scent is reminiscent of a strawberry lemonade, but it's not the delicious, you know, authentic strawberry lemonade for country candle. This one smells like a fresh, it's called strawberry patch. So it does smell like a fresh strawberry with the grains incorporated into the scent while having a little bit of like lemon or lemon zest incorporated into it. It's just, it's different. I love it. I have three more of these. So I do recommend this candle. I'm just not sure what I'm doing wrong in the sense of the wicks are picking up and moving. And so that's something that I'm going to give feedback to Kringle Candle Company. I hope they take it is I don't know if it's the glue they're using on the bottom, but I do not leave these candles going for hours and hours and hours and hours. So I'm not really sure why my wicks, this is the third or fourth candle that I've had from them where I'm having an issue with the wick. Luckily it was at the end. So then it's like, maybe that makes sense because soy wax is softer. I don't know, but why are two of the wicks gripping on and what one's not? The Cosmic Cupcake, both wicks. I don't know. I just worry. I worry about that. I'm, I'm big on uh, safety. I was a safety officer before in a healthcare setting. And so I worry about fire hazards. And so when I see like the risk assessment go up because you know, if those wicks get too close to the glass, you should never have it lit. It can cause this glass to get really hot. I mean, they're meant to be hot, but get really hot and they can explode, they'll crack. I mean, it can cause a fire, it's just not worth it. So it's always good to participate in candle care. All right, next up, I have two Kringle candles that I honestly was burning. I wish that I hadn't started burning them. I wish that I would have saved this because this is Creole Candles Donut Worry and the label is just so freaking cute. This is actually a really good candle. I burned it at the wrong time. So 
I tell myself I'm not a seasonal burner, but I'm starting to notice that there's definitely times of the year where certain fragrances, I think, appeal to me more. I think the fall and winter, specifically the holiday season of, you know, going into Thanksgiving and Christmas and post-Christmas in the beginning of January, that there is a time and place for heavy gourmands. And this is a heavy gourmand scent that I just wasn't into. And so I burned it all the way down here because I do a lot of Pringle candles in the closed space that I am in because they're not like blow your house down like strong. So I like to enjoy them. If I'm spending my time in a room like this, I want to have my Pringle candles around. So this one, I just got to the point where I think this is why a medium jar would be good for me because I got to a point where I was like, yeah, this isn't, I'm not feeling it. And I put it away for a little bit and then I finally just took it out and I put it into a candle crock in my entryway coming in from the garage and it was wonderful and delicious and sugary. And do you see where I burned the heck out of this candle and the wax is still creamy? The wick smooth because I crocked it. So that's a normal occurrence. I would never relight this. But why that lemon sugar marshmallow? I know it sounds like I just did a segue, but the creaminess of this wax makes me think, why did the lemon sugar marshmallow, going back to that real quick, do this and change like funky scents? I don't know. I don't know. All right. I have another Kringle candle that was large called Tea and Cookies. This is one that I purchased off Mercari. I had a seller that... Um, sold a couple of, of Kringle candles that she had burned one time. She said she pulled it out, wasn't her scent, she sold it. So I bought this for fairly cheap, $11, and wasn't my scent either. It, it's not, this wasn't my scent. So this did not go to waste. What I did is I cut off the wicks and I put it in a candle crock, and it lived there for like three or four days in my living room. And this scent reminds me of my grandfather from, he's from the Middle East and he used to make us like tea with milk and it was like lived in black tea, but he used to put like cardamom, like some spices in it, some Arabic spices or, and, um, or Middle Eastern spices. It reminds me a lot of the tea that I used to drink, which I do love to drink, but this isn't quite a chai tea to me. I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. It was my favorite. So I, I wouldn't repurchase that one. You know, you can't win them all. You know? All right. <gasps> Should we change? Let's change the tune. Okay. This is Caramel Frappuccino from Bath & Body Works. This is rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. This really does smell like a caramel frappuccino you would get from Starbucks. This was not my candle. This was my daughter Maya's candle. She was burning it. She put it in my empties pile. You know, teenagers, when I ask, can you tell me why? Or tell me about your empty. Tell me so that I can relay the message when I do my empties video. Tell me what you thought about it. And then I opened it and saw how much flipping wax was left. Look, the wicks are placed beautifully, of course, because I picked this candle out. But there's like that much wax left and it's fully scented. And she said... She just, she, she was like, well, I could put it away and stuff, but push comes to shove. As it burned down to the halfway point, the, it is still scented, but it smells burned. She said it did take on a different scent and she just was kind of nauseated by it, that she has other candles that she's burned through and she's put away. But this one became kind of cloying to her in her small space. And so I do have a couple of these candles that I have yet to burn because I smell them and say, when? I smell it and say, when am I gonna burn this? It's not anytime soon. I, I definitely think that this came out for candle day. It could have been a January scent. I am a PSL girl all the way, if you know what that is. Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Um, I do limit myself to have it during the holiday season. But as soon as it comes out, I do grab it, grab it and from Starbucks or I do buy a creamer that is a pumpkin spice latte creamer. However, the one that's my favorite is Chobani's. It's always limited edition. So if you find it, pick it up. It's creamy. It's delicious. Anyway, I digress. I think I will try to burn mine in the fall when it's PSL time. That's what I think I'm going to do because I smell it. And right now is the time for fresh, fruity, floral, ozone-y rainy day type scents. It's not the time for heavy, you know, sugary, 5,000 calorie, you know, venti fra frappuccino. That's caramel. Okay. So it wasn't, she, it just, she begged me to buy this candle. But see, that's the problem with Bath and Body Works candles. Not all of them, but they do have a tendency that as they get down here and the flames get really, really hot, it just like scorches the wax. It, 
It transforms that scent into something that is not desirable. And we move on. Next up, I love this candle. This is Bath & Body Works' Strawberry Daiquiri. Where have I been? I know they've came out with this before. I've never purchased it. Oh, this one burned like a champ. It burned pretty clean. The wax stayed beautiful. No, no changing, no discoloration. It got down to a point where I was starting to develop puny wicks. I shut her down at that point and put her on the nightstand on my element warmer and the hot plate and just let it warm up and fill my room with just an amazing scent. The scent notes on this are frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, and a shot of tropical rum, zesty citrus twist. I did buy another one. I'm tempted to, it's gonna go during the summer. I would buy even more than that. That, it was good. This was a great one. It threw wonderfully. You could smell it in my house. I would give it like a six and a half, seven out of 10, which is a wonderful place to be for my nose and in my house. Oh, I have like a non, non-candle, non-wax. So I did go through some cotton balls. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I thought I would show these because it just has to do with candle care or wax care. When I'm having a candle that's having an issue where it develops a puny wick or say I've kind of over trimmed it with the wick trimmer because I, you know, you shouldn't leave the carbon, excuse me, when your wicks, if they develop little carbon balls on the end or it looks like it's, you know, growing a, a tree or something, you want to trim that off. Those are dangerous. They will alter the scent of your wax. They actually pop and blow up like as you light them, they will pop and sometimes those little embers will come out of your candle. It's a fire risk. So I always say for the best burn, cut those down. And sometimes when I'm doing that, I cut too short. And so if I do am able to get somewhat of a pool and I notice I have a wick that is not gonna make it, I don't know why I looked back at that candle, but the wick did not make it on my country candle. What is happening with country candle? What is happening, Kringle? That one's gonna have to go in a crock. It just died. There's like a one lonely wick burning on that. Excuse me for the segue. What happened? I can show you in real time what is happening. I don't even barely trim the country candle. I barely trim it. Sometimes you don't have to. You guys, the wick, where did it go? They're like disintegrating. When I lit this, there was a full flame. That one's like, it just drowned. And I've seen a bunch of reviews on these country candles. I will tell you that at first people were saying that they were burning wonderfully, but here's a real time review. It just died. This candle just died on me and I paid full price for it which makes me very concerned and very upset. I did see from Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom, Connor from Connor Loves Candles. I'm not sure if Katie from Katie's Joyful Life experienced any issues with her country candle. From Mr. Kong's mom, she said that she got five candles from Kringle that are in this country candle line and they were the large two wicks and they all burned well except for lemon tea and roses. Same thing, she said it got to the halfway point when it decided to cause problems and I'm not sure if I just didn't catch it but I swear I lit this when I started this video. It was burning beautifully and bright. Every time I've lit this candle, it's been fine. I've trimmed only like the first time I burned it, it developed pretty big carbon balls. But after that, I haven't had to trim it. And so I don't know if this is what's happening to theirs. Like, so I think I'm not sure, maybe I'm getting it wrong. No, I believe it was Lemon Tea and Roses was Connor and Melanie. They had problems with their Lemon Tea and Roses candle, like pittering out or getting puny wicks at the halfway point. And now I know Kringle changed their wicks uh, this year because last year, apparently I wasn't burning their candles last year, but apparently the wicks were burning like really hot or developing huge carbon balls. So I guess you can't win, but I haven't heard anybody having issues with this strawberry lemonade candle. I guess I'll be a first. Shucks. It smells really good, the The scent doesn't change on that, so I'm just gonna crock it and get the rest of it out of that. I'll do it in this room. Well, close parentheses, moving on. So when that happens, if I can catch it before it goes out, especially with Bath & Body Works, when they start to develop, you know, Bath & Body Works will develop puny wicks, but they don't do that. It'll keep burning, it just may not be like fully pulled out and you just have to help it. And usually one, once I like go in with cotton balls and I'll soak up some of that wax and relight it right away, it will, it starts to like, it picks back up. It gets like a second wind, if you will, and is able to burn all the way through. That's what I use these for. And then also now that I've started using the warmer, 
Uh, I use these to soak up the wax while it's, you know, warmed instead of trying to figure out how to pop it out of the dish. Yeah, got the stuff Amazon for cheap. It came with the three pack. These are 200 counts. So it took me a while to get through this. Probably a couple of months. More now that I've got the warmer. All right, moving on from that. The next candle I have here, Farm Stand Peach from Homeworks. This is one that I found at TJ Maxx and I got it for $16.99. The fragrance notes are ripened peach, mandarin, peach blossom, and sugared vanilla. And this candle was wonderful. That, that smells like an authentic peach for sure. It burned beautifully all the way down. I have not had very many issues with my candles from Homeworks. Sometimes their candles will come with these like these like really thin wicks. This one tried to have a struggle like halfway through, but then the wicks just pick back up. You just have to be careful that if you develop any carbon on the tops of these ones, they will fall over into the wax and then you have to go save them. But anyway, this was great. Um, it filled up my, my living space. I would say uh, I'd give this one like a six and a half. It was really good. It was a good find. Now they have it for sale on Homeworks. He brought it out again. So cool. All right. I have a, another, this month I burned a blueberry cheesecake. I love this candle. It's authentic blueberry, wild main blueberry cheesecake accord, blackberry jam, brown sugar crust. Oh, you guys, this one's wonderful. I love, 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 love this candle. See, these wicks got small, but they still burned. They, they burned evenly. So yeah, Homeworks has not let me down this year. I, I had no issues with my candle. It's a Capri Blue Volcano candle. This is one that I got for Christmas from my friend Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. The scent here is wonderful. The burn quality is crappy. This is one that eventually I burned it and eventually I got to the point where it just wouldn't even burn. It wouldn't even pull. So I just got to the point where I put it under a candle lamp and poured off. This one poured off, pulled, poured off nicely. And then I just got to the point at the bottom where I was like, eh, it's okay. I love the scent, but there's other companies who are doing it right for better price and better quality. We'll do wax last. Okay, Bath & Body Works Cuddle Weather. This is from last year. I wanna say Candle Day 2022 is when this candle came out. Warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, a cozy blanket. This one was so good. Um, this one never went to the crock. This is kind of where the wicks lived. And you know what, we burned them. Danger. Yeah, I don't recommend that, but this one burned all the way the heck down and the wax stayed really pretty. Nice, look at those, see the wicks are, these are like tree trunk wicks, but they like stayed intact and didn't like ruin the wax. So I had a wonderful burn out of this. I'd give it a seven out of 10 and my family loves it. And I have a plug-in that I put in because of it. It's good, it's nice and cozy, but not too wintry. Okay, so I guess this is moving on from my last February, the fragrance empties. Um, I was crocking a strawberry pound cake because I had burn problems with two of them. So I had a third strawberry pound cake that I didn't even burn. I just, well, I kind of tried burning it one time. I just went and lived its life in the crock. But I will tell you, the scent notes on this is fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. This warms really well. So if you are not into burning, but you love strawberry pound cake and Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake, please feel free to get a candle lamp or a candle crock or a um, I say an element warmer, a hot plate warmer, not an element. I would say warm it. It is wonderful and it is a powerhouse. So that one was great. Definitely recommend. <sighs> Laundry day, single wick. I sold on my Mercari, my three wicks. I had two of them and I kept the single wick because I thought, oh, I'll do this one. This is a great, strong, very strong scent. I love this label, it's a white barn version. Very, just very neutral, very clean. And it says, feels like fresh air, crisp eucalyptus and soft lavender combine for a wave of peace that washes over you. And the scent notes are fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, soft lavender. This thing was a powerhouse. Um, this thing went into several rooms in my house and it could never be detained. This thing still has wax in it and will not be used because I, we, our family has been used, trying to use this up for two weeks and it made it to the laundry room, which then scented the whole house. It's just, if you love a really strong scent, this is my probably my only 10 out of 10 that I've recommended so far on my channel. This little single wick filled up my whole house and it was too much. So I recommend if you like that type of scent, it's wonderful, it smells like laundry, but it was just, 
my brain from hell. Okay, moving on. This is my husband's candle. He just started giving me his empties. He doesn't go through them as fast as I do. He cherishes his candles. He has his own little collection. This is sweet whiskey, golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Again, like with my daughter, I asked my husband, tell me about your candle. He loved it. He thought it was a six out of 10 overall, which was great for his office because it's was it's the room I'm in now, but it is a square room. It's pretty closed off. And he said he never felt like it, he said it was really consistent. He felt like it burned beautifully. My husband is definitely a stickler for the rolls with the candles. He just lets it burn for three hours and puts it out because he likes to savor his candles. Um, it was not sooty at all. It burned wonderfully. And he said that it just, the scent was very consistent and wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. Um, and he really enjoys the scent. And I didn't think he would, but he does. He loves it. Sweet whiskey. All right, next up, I have a woodwick candle. This woodwick candle is called Fireside. I love woodwick candles. We, ha we have several, not, not a whole collection, but I have a few. Um, Fireside is probably one of our favorites. We love humidor. And I just found vanilla bean, which I didn't even know that they had, and it smells like authentic vanilla bean, just so good. We love putting these on when we're trying to relax and watch movies. It's got a wonderful ambiance. It's a woodwick and it crackles and it just sounds like a fireplace and we don't have a fireplace. So um, the scent throw was, was beautiful. This was an eight out of 10. I have had no issues with woodwick. The only issue is that the flame can kind of get kind of high. So it's important that when you go to burn a woodwick candle, you see how it's got that like black top. You actually need to go in there and break it off. You wanna break it down as low as you can onto the wax with your finger. Not not like go in there and like bust it with something because then you will, you'll lose your wick. It, they say that you need to go in there and take all that leftover wood wick that's like black and charred, you have to break that off, okay? That's important to do so that you don't have a flame that is massive, because it will. it will, it will create a long flame. All right, moving on. Ooh, I have another candle from Homeworks, Blueberry Violet Tart. I love this candle. This one's good for the bedroom. It was a little bit light in the kitchen. It needed to be in the hurricane. So I would say that in a big open concept, it was pretty light, like five and a half. But when I put it in my room in a hurricane, it did bring that up to like a six and a half where I like it. Um, and it was perfect for my bedroom. It's fresh blueberries, violet petals, and baked pastry and vanilla bean. Harry Slackin just, I just love his blends. I love his blueberry. He knows how to do blueberry. He did blueberry right. And this thing burned beautifully all the way down to the end. No complaints. I definitely have a backup of that and I recommend. Oh, my husband had another candle. This one is autumn. This one we got in, it was like one of the first fall 2023 releases. It came out with that cozy Sunday something. Anyway, he had a little mishap here. He was, had nothing to do with the flames of the candle. Oh, this one smells so good. This one, um, he was like, had a little bit of schmutz on the side and he was trying to get it down with the lighter in it in it. He shouldn't have done that. It melted the, the label. So forewarning, don't do that. Or be mindful of how long you leave the flame there because if you're just trying to get something off real quick, then yeah, but don't like let it sit there and just burn because these wraparounds will melt and we don't want to fire. Again, fire safety. All right, autumn candle, bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. I bought this for me and I go, oh, he'll like that. He loves apple scents. This one burned beautifully all the way down, no problems, no problems. Down to the wick clips, all the way. And it's just this wonderful scent that I definitely will buy a couple of if it comes out again this year in 2024. There's just something fresh about this that he burned it for the spring and it's perfect. It, it doesn't have to be in the fall. It's actually, it's a good September scent if you're looking to burn something in September as we're transitioning from summer into fall. But it was, it's wonderful now. So I think you could, you know, technically burn this all year round. It's an all year round scent. All right, another candle. Again, for the second month in a row, Kringle's California Cab. This is my all time favorite candle from Kringle. I have had nothing but a joy with these burning all the way down. Do you see the wick type on this one is totally different than the ones that are on the country candle. The, it's like the, the wax is still so good in there. And technically, now I'm smelling it again, so that I don't burn another one yet, I have six, is to melt that. I probably will. You guys, this candle is I 10 out of 10 recommend. 
The throw on this is an 8 out of 10. Doesn't need a hurricane. If you like a wine scent, this is a great scent. It kind of comes off in the beginning as like a very grape forward, but like a Concordia grape authentic, not that artificial grape scent. As it burns, ooh, I'm telling you, you'll love it. Give it a chance. It's still in stock. That's a little bit pricey. It's the best candle I've ever had from Kringle. Wine Cellar from Bath & Body Works is my absolute favorite, but this one, this one's taking the cake for a minute, you know? I just want to smell one more time. <sighs> oh, I highly recommend that candle. All right, pistachio and toasted vanilla. This came from the same collection as the Cuddle Weather that I burned from 2022. Salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds. This one is a really, really good scent. I liked it. This one had really like scary flames that came off of it both times that I burned it. I burned it one time, it pulled all the way across and then I tried to burn it a second time. The flames were so scary. I, I just didn't want to ruin the candle. I didn't want to ruin my experience. So I trimmed off the wicks. I clip them down to where they're clean and then I crocked this. This crocked for two weeks because look how much wax is in there. This would, if you're not a candle burner but you love a little bit of a gourmand pistachio scent, get this one and melt it. Whether it's your candle, lamp from the top, your crock, which warms it from the sides, I'm gonna repeat myself, or a hot plate warmer. If you have this much wax, I recommend either the lamp and pour off or a crock and just let it go. Two weeks it smelled. And it was like, like I said, it was in that hallway walking in from my garage and it's just like this air vortex that just ciphers through and, and it filled up. It just, you walk in and it was just so good. So good. I have a new version, so I'll see how that one burns because I always try to burn my candles first. All right, the next one I have is a 10 year old sun drenched vineyard with this cute little lid. You guys, this one smells so good. It's fresh, it's bright. You do smell like more fruity, more sugary, sweet. This one says, a full bodied blend of rich fruit, white wine grapes, and French oak recalls an unforgettable day at a family run vineyard in a tiny Provencal vi village. Now, this one's not a wine cellar. It's brighter. It's more of like a sun ripened raspberry type of scent and it burned beautifully. I had documentation of this burning down to the halfway point beautifully. It got to this point and these poor little wicks, they started doing the um, Kringle candle where they just started like deterior, it's like they're crumbling and it couldn't hold a flame. So went into a crock and for being a 10 year old candle, it crocked so well. I'm like wondering what happened to the quality of can these candles because these 10 year old candles are like, they're like pulling through. The next one I have here, vanilla bean. I wish I could, I would recommend this candle. It just hasn't come back. Vanilla bean, white barn, Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, warm cinnamon nutmeg. And I love this one. This is one that I like to use. It's not very strong, but you can tell when you're burning it that, that there's this, yummy the air is yummy and delicious so I, I actually use this to pair with other candles so if I have like a floral candle that maybe needs a little bit cut off of it I'll do blend it with a vanilla to make it sweet and creamy um, this one I did it with the daffodil daydream at the same time so it added that extra sweetness to that daffodil daydream although that one is marshmallowy delicious I have a few of these and it's just like your staple quintessential vanilla scent I like it I like it a lot and then I went for my happy Easter candle from last year with the cute bunny lid tutti fruity candy sweet jelly beans mixed berries sugared lemon it crocked I just couldn't smell it. It's so light, you guys. When it was burning, even crocking, it was light. I would say it was a three, a three out of 10. It didn't give me much in the way of a hurricane. Um, this is one that I tried. It kept the wax nice and creamy. What I did burn of it, it did burn well, but it just, it's like burning fine, but I wasn't getting a scent. And so I put it, I put it in the crock. Yeah. She went into a crock and lived her life. Okay, lastly, this is another candle from my husband, which is, I'm not even gonna pretend to spell or say that. So you guys can look at the name. This was a holiday candle from the Diptyque advent calendar that I had last year. I will say about Diptyque, a lot of the scents are very sophisticated and luxurious, 
very high-end perfume. The way that I smell it reminds me of a perfume that my grandmother from the Middle East had when she went to France. She picked up this, this perfume, which I think it was from Diptyque now that I smell it. It just, it's too much. Basically, I didn't enjoy Diptyque candles. My husband does, he loves them. I have a vanilla one that's really good that he, he I gave to him that's pretty big that he has that smells like a smoky scent. I can't even tell you that what this one is or what scent notes are. It just smells more masculine. And so if you like a masculine scent, this one would be a good one for you. I don't know if they repeatedly bring this out every holiday. This was from the 2022 advent calendar. He liked it. He said, this little guy, it's strong. It is strong. So he burned it in his office, really liked it, was very strong. And these come with no lid. So it's just, you know, they use really high quality fragrance with these. It's just, I, it wasn't for me in my scent notes that I love. All right, you guys, that's it for candles. We're almost done. Let's go through these waxes. All right, so I'm on a journey. I've kind of stumbled into the wax melting world because I liked the idea of how cute the Scentsy warmers are. And so I was following Lisa Roberry on YouTube. She is a Scentsy uh, consultant. And I found her on there, like the same time I found Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom. And they're like really, really good friends. I think best friends. I thought I went and checked out her website and found that they have like the cutest freaking warmers and they had some on sale. So I picked up a couple warmers for my house. And I picked up some Scentsy bars. I may have subscribed to a quarterly subscription, but I'm not gonna get too in depth there because I do have a wax series coming up that I'm going to be filming and uh, talking about on top of these other videos. I have bought Scentsy wax and then I had did research into some vendor wax because I didn't know what that was. Now I have acquired a lot of it and we're gonna deal with that when I do my wax series. But until then, I'll just show you what I've been going over. I've been letting the vendor wax cure, like I hear whatever that, I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's what I'm doing. And so I have been using just samples to kind to, to kind of get through. So I have a good amount of samples that I got through. Something I can tell you the difference of between Scentsy Wax and Vendor Wax, just since we're reviewing, is I do notice that Scentsy Wax has a tendency to last longer in my warmers, as in like I put it on and then it lasts for the day. I turn off my warmers and I put it on again the next day and it still smells really good. Whereas in Vendor Wax, pretty much by the end of the day, sometimes not even the end of the day, but like maybe four to six hours in, I lose the scent. That's okay because I have so much to get through, so I just switch it out. Some people might find like that's why they go to Scentsy because maybe more bang for their buck. I like variety, so I'm having fun just kind of starting to get into trying some vendor wax. So let's, let's talk about these all samples. Okay, so this one I have called from K Scented Melts. It's called My Little Oven, and I love that they come in these little bags, and it has zucchini bread, sugar cookies, sweet vanilla cream. K-scented wax. Something I do love about these wax vendors is they are small businesses. They're making these out of their home or out of a shop that's local in the United States. Now, I really liked buying from K-scented wax, and I'll tell you why. Or, sorry, let me get her name right. K-scented melts and her website's kscentedmelts.com. She sent me so many. I bought a bunch of her clamshells, which is like what Scentsy has. These are like little shells. Um, and she sent so many little samples. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know people's names yet. I've been doing my research. This My Little Oven has vanilla. It was good. I feel like all the vendor waxes that I've been putting in my warmers, especially in my room or in like a closed space, has been strong. This is not killing me strong, but it was so well blended. So yay, I love that one. Next up from L3 Waxy Wonders Adipose. And this is Jet Puff Mallow Mallow Fluff Toasted Mallow. It's a parasoy scented wax. Do not eat. That means there's people out there that eat this stuff. This was a good one. This is like straight up marshmallows, marshmallows, marshmallows. But I will say that there's something kind of toasty about it. It's not like a marshmallow fireside type of toasty, but it just gives a little bit of, a, of an element. Ooh, that smells good. I like that one, adipose. I'm a nurse, so adipose means fat. So is that what that's telling me? It's just like so much fatty. The next one I have is Salty Sea Air 
from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is good. Now, okay, I talked to you about laundry day and how that just blew my house out. This is like the type of scent though that I really, really liked. I am starting to learn from like using the samples and buying some of these vendor waxes that like I'm branching out scent and fragrance profiles and trying to try new things and getting myself used to it. And like, is this something I can enjoy, right? And her salty sea air is so good. It's aquatic, but not too aquatic. You can smell the sea salt and it's got like a freshness air to it. That was good. It's a great laundry room scent, bathroom scent. I would love to mix this one with the adipose to do like a salty, like aquatic with like a sweet marshmallow. Hey girl, did I just come up with a new scent? I'm just kidding. Okay, the next one from, I have a lot of samples from L3 Wax, or Waxy Wonders. This is Lemon Pound Cake Cookie Therapy. So I think those are two different scents then. There's Lemon Pound Cake, period, Cookie Therapy. Oh, so they're blending, maybe mi mixing things together. Oh, I can't really smell this one. I don't know, this one doesn't smell it. I don't, so here's the thing is I've been using so many of these that I don't remember whether or not they work good or not. So I'm going off based off of the scent of the bag. So out of two out of the three from L3, this is a no-go. I don't know that if the sample was a no-go, I can't imagine that because I don't remember putting any samples in and going, I can't smell this. But as far as the bag went, this was too light. Next up I have from Up The Creek Scents, <gasps> Rock Candy and Fruit Loops. You guys, this one was strong. I remember that and it smells so good. <gasps> oh, it's got Rock Candy and Fruit Loops. So that must be what the, the scents are. Like, I don't know if that's like, a, there's like a citrusy note. It's like Lemon Pez Candy mixed with like, with fruity pebbles. This one was good. This one lasted two days in my warmer and I remember, and it was one square. I recommend that one, Up the Creek. This next one's from K Scented Melts. This one's Salted Pretzel Milkshake. See, I would have never have bought a pretzel fragrance before. I wouldn't have, but I got this as a sample. Ooh, and it's so good, it's yummy and delicious. Salted pretzel milkshake. You get the sweetness and the creaminess, I think, from the shake. And then you get some salty carbohydrate, almost bready note from the pretzel. I'm like amazed by this. These vendors do such a good job. I'm so glad that like I stumbled into that this. I think once I started looking into Scentsy and I bought them, it kind of took me into the world of vendor wax. This one's from Traverse City Wax, which was another company that gives you just like a plethora of really big, like they look like little bunk cakes. They're like this, they're like this big of a sample. Perfect. Frankenstein. Oh, this one was good. This is just fruity. Yeah, it's just, um, I think this was like, it reminds me of like a Halloween candy, like gummy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because you wanna know why? It's been an hour and 20 minutes and I have to just go with what I say when I smell it. Next up, Traverse City Wax Companies. Pink sugar cookie, that's good. I totally love the pink sugar. Uh, it's like Aqualina's pink sugar with a bakery sugar cookie note. That's blended really well. I'm, I'm starting to notice that Traverse City Wax. I wish I knew what the owner's names were, but I don't. So I can do that next time. My husband says that every time I make a video, I should do something different like to better myself. So I should. Traverse City Wax again. This is strawberry pop tarts and cookie dough. I get the strawberry. I get the strawberry pop tart scent. I don't really get a cookie dough. It smells good. Wonderful. From K Scented Melts. <gasps> you know what? This is the vendor. I told my daughter, so she's gonna be watching this video. K Scented Melts, like the, the samples, cause that's all I've burned right now, or burned. That's all I've melted. This one's so good. It's kind of perfumey. It's fruity and perfumey. It, I, I immediately went onto her website and bought like four clamshells of this. I don't know if her clamshells have this in it, but in her her sample, she it looks like it's normal, like solid wax color. It was purple, but when it melted and I went in to see my warmer, it looked like it, it was shimmering. It had like the shimmer that you would have in like the Glotion from the Whip Body Butter from Bath & Body Works. It has that in the wax and it just looked very cosmic. It was so pretty. I would say this is probably one of my favorites. K-Scented Melts Blackberry. That's good. K scented melts tea and cakes. Very good. No, it has nothing to do with Kringle's tea and cookies. This one smells like tea, like a green tea maybe, and a sugar cookie. Yum. Okay, Traverse City Waxes Vanilla Bean. See if you will focus. Come on, buddy. This one's kind of light, but it smells 
identical to Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean. So I love it. This is a good, something that I'm learning is vanilla is very light. So you have to blend it with something. L3's Flamingo Zest. Oh, this is good. It's kind of tropical, but she's the one that has that salty sea air. So I'm getting like a, I don't have the scent notes, so I'm making this up. It's based off of what I'm smelling, but I'm getting like that salty sea air, kind of like aquatic scent mixed with something that's fruity. I can't really pick out what the fruit is, but it's good. Case Scented Melts Orange Almond Scone. This one's very light. I don't know that I get the orange so much um, as I get just like, um, like a bakery a bready bakery sweet scent. So I don't, because usually with almond, you'll get that pistachio almondy cherry note, and I don't get that. And there's not a lot of orange in there, so. It's not bad, but it's just, it's not like, you know, if I open it and go, oh, I smell orange and almond. This is Case Scented Wax Bake Shop. Oh, it does smell like you just walked into like a bakery. There's no note that stands out to me that I, I'm like, oh, this is a specific pastry or anything. It kind of smells like a donut. That smells good. L3 Waxy Wonders Orange Juice. Oh, that's good. That's an orange. That's an orange I can get behind. I don't know that it um, smells like orange juice per se, like my Tropicana one that I love. It smells like an artificial orange, but it smells almost like an orange Pez, but it smells good. This says L3 Waxy Wonders. Today is October the 3rd. Palo Santo Toasted Mallow Sugar Cookie Royal. This one's so good if you like Palo Santo. L3's Palo Santo that I am smelling so far in the couple of samples I've done, I have actually bought a few of like bigger items from her and I'm, I just have it put away. This is so good. I don't know where she came up with this blend, but it's the Palo Santo is, is beautifully mixed with the Toasted Mallow and Sugar Cookie Royal. So nothing standing out that I'm like, oh, you can just tell that there has to be, there's like this woodsy scent to it. That's the Palo Santo, but it's not too smoky. It's not too like walking out in the woods type of scent. Oh, that one's good. That is a favorite, I would say. Traverse City Wax Black Sea. I put this one out. I gave my husband a warmer from Scentsy and he has like a little room. We call it the entertainment room. That's like this um, loft area that's right outside this office. This is good. It's unisex. It's not too masculine, but I put it in his warmer out there and it was strong, you guys. This one was so good. I would definitely rebuy this one. It's more of like a, I would say perfume, but not in the way that it's feminine. It's definitely unisex. It smells like it's got violet in it or something. It smells good. That smells good. Strawberry pound cake from K Scented Wax. I like to try everybody's strawberry pound cake because everybody's is different. K's strawberry pound cake, just off of this. It's not like Bath and Body Works. This one has like a fresh strawberry. So it smells like a fresh strawberry that I would cut and smell. Not necessarily one that's been baked into a, but I can smell the cake, the pound cake. No. Yeah, that's good. I feel it. It's, you can't see it, but I feel like I'm getting wax all over me. This is the one that I talked about earlier, so I won't spend too much time on it. This is the Pharmacist Daughter. I wrote that on there because it just had the lemon chiffon blend written on it without who it was. So I wrote Farm Dot on it. And I have this one warming and it's good. This came as like a little bunt, a little bunt cake. And I just love that they give samples. So smart so that you can try some of their blends. And um, it's a good way so that you know whether you like something and then if you wanna go back and get some more. And I'm a fan of this one. And I, if, if, I'll if i do a whole video on vendor wax. There's just a thing with the way that people sell, which is why I understand the process, but it can be hard to be able to access people's website if you don't have the no, the wherewithal or the know-how or signed into somebody's Facebook group because sometimes you don't know and then you miss out on getting a scent. So that's the only thing that gets me. This is L3 Waxy Wonders. She has several different types of wax that she uses. And this little cup is a sample of her scoopable wax, which comes in a cute jar and she sends you a spoonchula is what she calls it. And it's like this cute metal spoon that's colored. I am, she has sent me a deep dark purple one that's got like little, um, like looks cosmic almost. And then a blue one. My, she sent me one I gave to my husband. It's a copper one. But her scoopable wax is like container wax. It's it's soft. But so they come in this little sample cup and you can try it. And I thought that was cute. Cute idea. It's a little like scent shot. And this one is, I don't know if I read it, zucchini bread, sweet cream, Danish butter, cookies, orange juice. This is blended. So you see she takes all these different scent notes and puts them together. Wonderful. I love that one. Case scented melts candy corn literally smells like candy corn that you would eat 
which is not my favorite, but I wouldn't mind mixing that with something. Uh, Traverse City uh, Wax Co's Strawberry Pop-Tarts and Cookie Dough, which I think I've already said that I've used this one before. So I think I, this is a duplicate. Smells wonderful. Um, Traverse City Wax Pink Sugared Lemons. I, sorry guys, my phone doesn't want to focus. This one's like a fresh one. Okay, so it says pink sugar lemons. So I like that the mix of pink sugar with like fresh lemon, it gives it like a, like I would want my laundry to smell like this. This is a clean scent, not an edible scent. Another scoop, scoopable wax sample from L3 Waxy Wonders, Vanilla Lace Baccarat Rouge 540 Mallow Fluff. This is vanilla, this mixture, I could sit and smell that all day. That is seductive, that's a bedroom scent. Vanilla, delicious. Next up from Rose Girls Wax, I have Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. And this is Apple Crisp Palo Santo, which is Bath and Body Works type, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh, it smells so good. It's not seasonal to me. It's perfumey. The Palo Santo mixed with the Vanilla Bean Noel makes it seem more body care. I'm starting to like Palo Santo, I think. L3's Bonfire Bliss Cookie Therapy. It's light. I don't really get bonfire of that. But again, I think I should take notes of when I'm opening these before I put them in. This one's Traverse City Wax Marshmallow Madness. I know I love this one. I put that one, I mixed this with the um, Vanilla Lace Baccarat Rouge 540 because this was light. The Marshmallow Madness was light and it has more of a toasted marshmallow scent and um, it went really well with that Vanilla Lace. Okay. Traverse City Wax Strawberry Sugar Milk and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I have been on the hunt to get this one and it has been sold out. I'm obsessed with like a fresh strawberry scent that smells authentic and this is it. Mixed with that Cupcakes at Tiffany's, it tastes like I'm eating like the fresh strawberry angel food cake. Oh, I say one day if she has this ever again, I'll get it, but it's been sold out. And then the last vendor wax, I built, no, I have one more. This one is from, who is this? Oh, Super Tarts. You can't really see the, like the labels is a small one, but this one was called Bro Nana and I want it because I love Main Street Bakery. And this reminds me of that. This one smells like an authentic banana bakery, like banana cake, not nut bread. Oh, oh, I want that one. I want that one. And then Traverse City, wax black raspberry and vanilla <sighs> this is good this one reminds me of the blackberry from k's scented mills okay i have two wallflower refills and they're both of sweet tea and lemonade from bath and body works these are powerhouses i am really trying to transition from wallflowers into just melting wax when I want to do like a non-burn day or keep like fragrance throughout the house because candles you know you have to watch them and so wallflowers I'm having issues with the scent and throw of a wallflower some are just really too strong some are just strong enough and then some just you can't smell at all and then you have to get the plug-ins and then the plug-ins you think oh it's just like a one and done I'll buy it and it should last me for years it doesn't they're breaking they're breaking faster and I think it's a thing for us to go buy more I don't know so lastly I have some scentsies and we'll just go over them I have three blueberry cheesecakes from scentsy that I got in February but I used up in March and this is a good one. I went ahead and got myself a brick of this one and it is good, I liked it. This was the first wax that I used and I didn't understand how to melt wax. So I didn't realize I only needed like a couple cubes and I put like a whole thing in one of them. I don't know why I thought I needed to do that because when I stuck them in there, I'm like, oh, it looks like it needs more, it needs more. And on Scentsy warmers, on the plate, it tells you a number in the middle and that, that's how many pieces you can max out on. It doesn't mean you have to put that many in there. So this was yummy and delicious and Scentsy wax does last for a couple of days of the ones that I've used so far. I have black currant and plum here. And this one I'm glad I had just one of, wasn't my favorite, it's just, and, and I, the reason why I think it's because it's really good. Well, it's perfumey. It must have just been the week I wasn't feeling it because now I'm smelling it and it smells so good. I try it again. I don't think it's out right now because it was seasonal. But if it comes back, I would try it again. I would try it again during 
I think it's the cold months that I need to be using that because it's so deep and warm and then using it in my bedroom because it's kind of a seductive scent. And then the last one, you guys, we made it. Vanilla bean buttercream. This is a yummy, yummy. I get like on coal when I smell this, I get kind of a Play-Doh scent. Do you guys remember Play-Doh? Do you use Play-Doh? Where it's kind of like that salty dough that you get to build. It kind of smells like that on cold, but on warm, it's very decadent. So I, this is a good one that maybe you cut like a little half a piece and then stick it in the warmer, like mixed with that. Um, this one that seemed like it was really kind of too deep. I could have mixed that little vanilla bean with this and it would have been really good. So anyway, guys, that, uh, we made it through a marathon of fragrance. Because of this, I let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are if you've made it this far. Let me know, what do you think? Do you think I should split and do it like every two weeks we do like a fragrance empties? Or do you like it being this long? Because I have a feeling that, you know, time is valuable and I appreciate every second, every second that you spend watching my video. And so having one that's this long, I know is a pain and hard for people to sit through or watch, but I wanna know what your guys' feedback is. My thought, my initial thought would be, I don't know if I can maintain a weekly, but maybe doing an every two week empty, or do I just stick with doing a once a month empties, but then like split, you know, part one, part two, where I still do two videos, but it's all at the end of the month. I don't know. It would help my, my bin to do it every two weeks. So I think I'm gonna go with that unless you guys leave me some comments down below and let me know if you think of another plan here because girls got a lot of stuff. So I get to throw this away now, which is nice. So my, my poor bin can like take a break. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you want to know when my videos come up, I I post once a week. Um, my goal is going to be sometimes twice a week. It just depends on the type of content. Like, I like to review new things as well. So as I've gotten these collection videos out, which have taken me a long time, and I've done a couple of empties, I'm starting to get a feel for filming and, a, you know, comfortable in front of the camera as much as I am vulnerable. And I'm, you know, wanting to get more involved in if I pick up something that's new, whether it's a luxury candle, whether it's a Bath & Body Works candle, because I just can't get away from Bath & Body Works. Kringle, Homeworks, um, Vendor Wax, Scentsy, you know, that I want to get on and just film and post. So those will be my fun ones to just do, but I am posting at least weekly. Um, and so hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of when I post a video and you'll be able to see it. And again, thank you so much. I love you guys so much for this community. It's growing slowly but surely. 131 um, subscribers today, so yay for that. Um, I just want to keep building this community and I'll be here. So yeah. All right, guys. We'll take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.